back to Northern Ants. This is Mark with Mark's Bee Biz. We are heading out today. It's going to be a little bit different. We are doing a bumblebee removal. Um, so it's a relocation. I do not kill bumblebees because they're pollinators. So I will be vacuuming up all the workers and catching the nest. And then I will show you relocating them, moving them to a new home. Hope you enjoy the video. And I will talk to you in the comments. So we have a bumblebee nest today. I'm going in here. I'm feeling there's a old stump there over there. So I'm thinking because the hole is here, there's a good chance that the nest is over there. So it'll be interesting. <laughs> Tunnel is going. Oh well, you can hear them under there already. Maybe it will be closer. Maybe right here under this board. Oh yeah, right there. It's always when I turn the vacuum off when they start coming back.
Every time I turn it off, it doesn't respond.
I put this thing back around the edge where, where the hole is. This is the, get the bottle trap in there. Already two of them in, in the trap. The nest was underground right about here, real deep. And then there was some over here that were hiding inside the old rotted rut. Removal of the nest, it's in the vacuum in the container. We'll be heading on to that next part at home where we relocate it. So. Okay, be back with the continuation of the video in a little while. Okay, well, we're back home with the bumblebees They're in the vacuum cleaner. And there's a lot in the hose. I'm gonna use the hose, garden hose, to kind of wet them down because. This is going to be their new home back here. Hopefully it's not too dark for camera. This is the new home. There's the bumblebees in their nest. Which that I'm not going to be able to light down, so it's going to be a little tricky to get them. This used to be my honey house. Still got some of my bee boxes in here, my smoker. And the old packages, packages and stuff. I've got a down there. It's got a, a storage, honey storage tank. And come back here. That's where the bees were. There's no bees in that hive, but I had I had eight eight hives back here, seven or eight hives back here at one time at a, at some point. This is going to be the outside entrance for the bumblebees right there in the wall of the shed. Okay, well, I'm going to get going on this. It's going to take quite a while to get them situated in their new home, and I will take you on the adventure. I don't know if I'm going to show you the getting them watered down, because it's going to take a a lot of running so I'm gonna set the camera up in here so we can get angles in, the, in here as we put the nest in the in the their new nest. Well I took and wetted down the ones inside the cage which hopefully it'll keep them calmer which I might have to go and put them outside at the entrance out there if you could smell these <laughs> really strong really strong smell okay. uh, let's see try to grab chunks There's the queen. I showed her on the out when she was outside. Kind of concerned my gloves are a little wet. So it kind of gets rid of some of the protective per properties of them. With my suit being so wet from sweat and, and stuff, it makes makes their job easier. <laughs> Stinging a lot of baby ones. And what they'll do is that I put that insulation material, or it's not insulation, it's a, a cushion from a old couch.
and they will use that to build up. Oops. I hit that getting on the ground and then. That's kind of in disarray. I'm thinking that. Yeah. Take a piece of this out. Just leave the. Because your entrance is behind there. I to be able to find it. This nest is so big, it's hard to get it um, in one big chunk because it was spread across such a large area. did have some losses to to the heat it was in the, the tube for the vacuum they're already starting to reorganize we'll put some something over the cover over the nest to kind of give them some dark space and hopefully the colony will rebound the wasps are already attacking some of the dead ones outside at the entrance but I'd be surprised I've put nests in like this and a couple days later it was completely covered over but it all depends on their durability I had to put a piece of tape something chewed in my corner over here it was they were getting out on me and if I'm gonna come in here without my suit on at any point I need to make sure that they can't can't get to me <laughs> okay well I hope you enjoyed the video or hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet make sure you do that right now I'd really appreciate it have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you in the comments and here's their new entrance there's a couple of them out here kind of checking out the area yellow jacket Like can, if she can fly yet or not. No, she cannot. Her wings still look like she's young. A lot of the new queens have been flying off. He's trying. Well, they'll get reestablished in there. I don't know if that queen is going to make her way back though. She couldn't fly and she wasn't able to give herself a directional flight to figure out where she was going. Oh, there's another worker that I so think some of these workers are young. Oh, this one's just trying to sting me. <laughs> Can't 
fly very good. Oh, that other queen, hopefully she'll find her way back. Or stay safe down there, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. Check on it again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Also, please comment down below what you thought. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.